save it. We save it and now accept it. Re-enter multi-tank calibration. Automatic calibration. Advance the wizard. Put our pails back underneath. Okay, now we want to repeat to verify our calibration. We'll turn on tank one and four again. And we got our empty buckets underneath the calibration spouts. Turn the auger on. It's got expected weights. We'll grab a half decent sized sample. Turn off the fertilizer. And turn off the oats. Our fertilizer we have 23.7 pounds. Tank one. And our oats we have 21.7 pounds. Okay, so we had 23.7 pounds of fertilizer and 21.7 pounds of oats. So we'll advance the wizard. Our fertilizer was 23.7 pounds, accept it. Our oats was 21.7 pounds. Accept it. Advance the wizard. It says we're 0.74% out from our old cow factor and we're 1% out from our old old cow factor. Bang on. See, again, you save it and save it. The second calibration verified the first one. Now you accept that and from the tablet or the monitor you expand so we did tank one and touch where it says 46 zero, zero. and then our slide bar drag it to the bottom the minimum rate we can do with one section on in low is 71.8 same in mid but the max rate we can do is 149 or 299. A more comfortable range would be mid-range. Then we go to the other tank we calibrated, our oats. So we go to the slide bar at the bottom. We are at 100 or 90 pounds. So it can't do it in low range, but it can do it in mid or high. So now we'll go to our tank and we'll change these both to mid range. This is tank one. We have three ranges, high, medium, and low. There is a decal on the side telling you which is which. And our chart showed us that we'd be best in medium. We are in fact in medium already. If we needed to move it, we just have to loosen our wing nut, move it out of the way, and move it to the appropriate range. No need to change chains. Slide this back down, make sure there's a bit of tension on it, and tighten it up. So we proceed to adjust tank number four into mid-range as well. Tank four, we said we wanted to move it to mid-range. Slide bar up. Chain off of high. Go to mid. Drop it back down, make sure there's a little bit of tension back together. While we're back here, we have to make sure the downspout is in the appropriate run. So our tank 4, which is oats, is going to go into our seed run. So our tank number 1, we'll proceed to move it to a pack out of the calibration spout and into the fertilizer run. Tubes are on purely. Tighten the over-centered clamps. 